What's up, boys? Today, we're going to be doing a player review on Ruben Vezo. He is one of the few defenders we have in Team 1. Honestly, a bit disappointed in the amount of defenders we have, but we know uh, Foot Birthday is an attacking attacker and midfielder promo just because of the 5-star weak foot, 5-star skill uh, balance and that, that it brings, and that really doesn't serve center backs too much. To speak on the 5-star skills right off, right off the rip, it's not super useful. It is fun, but it can get you in trouble. I was doing elasticos in my own half, and you guys can probably guess what happened. I turned the ball over so many times just because I was trying to have fun with the stupid five-star skills. But it, it is fun if you use it when in smart situations. Do not use it in a super sweaty game when you're down or you're down or you really need a goal. But if you're up by a bunch of goals, it's super fun to run up with your center back, do a couple burba spins, fake shot cancels, stuff like that. It, it's really, really fun. But as a, as a center back, I really like this card. He's six foot, he's medium, medium, he's strong, he's fast, he's really well balanced. And I think he's a great, a great cheap option for La Liga center backs. He's also Portuguese, so you can get uh, links across to that team near Ruben Diaz, other Portuguese players as well. I'm trying to think of other Portuguese Portuguese midfielders that you can think of. Maybe Bruno, maybe, if you want to do like a Prem hybrid, something like that. Very, very solid there. And oh, yeah! for La Liga center backs, he's super cheap. Um, they definitely link him up with Team Your Honor, Mancho Kunde, that uh, Adidas card, Eder Militao. Definitely would work very well. I think this card's price will rise when he goes out of packs, but for now, he's super cheap. He's like 30 something K, 30. I bought him for 40K, sold him for 33, so not super bad there. Taking a look at the in-game stats, he does have low lower acceleration than his sprint speed. And I could definitely tell in game that his sprint speed was higher than his acceleration, but it wasn't as much of a hindrance as I thought going into it. I thought going into this, playing with this card, he was just going to be a lot slower than he was and not as quick as I, I really needed him to be, but he was super quick. He never really got beat off the jump or off the first step. He was able to position himself in ways that made up for that lack of acceleration. And I would definitely recommend, I think, I think a shadow or an anchor just because you get that physical up a little but depending on if you want more physical or just pure defending or if you want the, the true pace i think shadow would be the first camp style i would put on him and secondly if you don't want a shadow and you want a bit of physical definitely go with the anchor uh overall this card it was actually a lot of fun to play with he was solid at the back i played foot champs with him and division rivals qualifying so it, it, it was good it was very very good taking a look at his passing stats real quick he does have good passing he has 83 short passing and 81 long passing so i wish i wish he had five star week with that would make this card so much better to be able to ping long passes on both feet just through balls for days do the player lock where you where you press l3 and r3 switch it to a winger and just hit like half field through balls oh my god that'd be absolute limbs but sadly that is not the case and it's still good to have those passing stats especially with uh i think it's a two-star weak foot yeah two-star weak foot right footed definitely keep that in mind if you're trying to ping some power pass with his left foot uh dribbling is also pretty good he's got good agility good balance and definitely helps him uh jockey i really think that that helps him jockey reactions are high reactions are super important for center backs as there's a lot of when, when a center back makes a block or any defender makes a block, when they have low reactions, the ball tends to bounce farther away. It, it's a weird concept, but it does happen. Higher reactions makes the ball a little, it, it makes them a little more sticky, sticks them a little bit more, and it helps them just make these crazy AI tackles. Like a player like Conte, who has, I think has really, really good reactions. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but he is insane at that. Just getting pinging balls out the air, just they just stick to him. Also, he's got pretty good composure. I don't know how much composure plays a role as a center back. I think it does have an impact this year on goal line clearances and stuff like that, just because in previous FIFA's goal line clearances have been almost automatic or sort of just something that would happen with the AI. Last year, if you had a player on the line and someone took a shot, that center back was pretty, more likely not gonna save it. And I think composure definitely helps that this year, but it's not really a guarantee like it was in the past. So that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, no, he did. I'm, I'm remembering back to my gameplay. You will see it in this video. But he made like two or three goal line clearances, a couple crazy blocks, stuff like that, that I just haven't seen in other players. Let me just take a look at some of the other center backs in my club, just to see their reactions because or composure, because I have not seen a card do that in a while. Yeah, Rudiger has 86 composure. Marquinhos has 86 composure. So I guess composure is a pretty important stat for center backs this year. Maybe a little bit of a, a hidden hidden trick there. But getting back to his in-game stats, he has got incredible defensive stats and physical stats. It, it's, it's a very, very good defensive card. Obviously, he's a center back. Um, defensive awareness is very good. I feel like his positioning was really good. I wish there was a defensive positioning stat. I guess that is 
played into uh, defensive awareness. There was an attack positioning stat, so I feel like his defensive positioning was pretty much on par. He was always in line with the other center back, which was Rudiger, and it, it just seemed to work out really, really well. Interceptions were great. I feel like interceptions are important on center backs, but I think standing tackle and defensive awareness, stuff like that, sliding tackle is much more important as they're making a lot more one-on-one -on -one contributions they do get interceptions but not as many as a holding midfielder would make and you usually control your center backs at least i do and i feel like this year you do two-man press a lot so it is important to have good uh standing tackles so very good with that at 90 and then sliding tackle at 91 moving on to his physical stats his stamina is a bit low just for the the quality of the card and everything else that this card offers the stamina is a bit low which is concerning because you don't you're never going to sub off a center back obviously so you want a center back with good stamina at 81 his strength and aggression is good i just want to take a look at rudiger and marquinhos these are the guys i use in my team rudiger has 80 stamina actually so maybe it's not that big of a hindrance as I previously thought Marquinhos has 83 stamina. Yeah, Rudiger is solid for me and he only has 80 stamina. But once again, Rudiger is a lot faster with 86 acceleration and 85 sprint speed. The 86 acceleration probably makes him feel faster towards the end of the game where I think this card would pace. Definitely, you can definitely tell a pace difference later in the game combined with the low acceleration and the low stamina. If he had high acceleration, I don't think this would be a big of an issue, but definitely a bit of an issue. Maybe you want to put a, definitely this is more of a reason to put uh, an anchor on him than a shadow to get this stamina up a little, but definitely a, a reason to not do that is because the strength and aggression is very good and he's six foot. So he's already a pretty built center back. Uh, whenever I go into tackles, I would spam left stick for shield and he would just literally just body everyone off the ball. It was so fun to see. He was always diving into tackle stuff like that and the balance of strength and aggression I, I always like but i feel like aggression has it's weird aggression has a bit more of a, an impact i feel like than true strength as i've used players with really low uh like that lucas terrera foot birthday card i used him and he has really low strength but very high aggression and it just makes him so much fun in game honestly the guy is incredible but that's really going to do it, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys are enjoying Foot Birthday. Let me know how the how the swaps promo is going, if you guys have kept up with that. Those, some of those SBCs were super difficult. It took me a while to complete them. guess I'm just not good at SBCs. My club was kind of rinsed, and it, it, my brain hurt for, like, it took me, like, 15 minutes. But that's really going to, I hope you guys, yeah, that's going to do it, boys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.